Hey guys, and welcome back to another sprite animation tutorial. So today I'm going to be going over character rigs. So before we start, just a full disclaimer, I'm not going to be teaching you how to animate the rigs so they look like realistic, because that's kind of up to your own stylistic choice and what looks good to you. I can't really say what looks the best, because obviously I'm not really a professional at it either. I'm just here to show you how to set it up. So for today's one, we're going to be using the Sonic Mania rig, so uh, let's just let's get started. So we're going to take all of Sonic's head movements here, just all of these, like all the mouth movements, and copy them. And then we're going to go back into animate, and not do that. <laughs> we're going to paste them here, and we're going to turn this into a symbol, and we'll just call it Sonic Head for now. It doesn't really matter what you call it. Uh, modify bitmap, trace bitmap. I've gone over bitmaps before in my first tutorial episode, so if you haven't seen that, go and check it out if you haven't. And now we're just going to go and line all these up. So we're going to just do it like a normal symbol animation, just one frame after another. So we'll just do that really quickly. Okay, so here we are with all of the face movements that we're using. So they're all just in a row, one after another, inside of one symbol. So now we're going to back out of this symbol and we're going to turn the looping options onto single frame. And what, what this allows us to do is open the frame picker and then we can swap between any of these that we need and it, we, it doesn't like keep looping through every single frame it just it just shows the one so this makes it easier instead of doing swap symbol because sometimes that doesn't work very well and so what you want to do if, is just repeat that process but for everything else that you want to use so like the arms and the legs and whatever you need to use so yeah just i'll be i'll be right back with a finished product Okay, so I'm here with all the different limbs I'm going to be using. I've decided just to go with um, a single body instead of splitting up the legs because it'll take too long. Because you guys know what to do anyway, just repeat the process for everything else. So I've actually nicked some of these from uh, my recent animation, Hilltop Hijinx. If you haven't watched that already, go and give it a watch, please. It's good. And yeah, so I've just got the this arm pose and this one. Uh, this one is just its own one, doesn't really matter. So with arms, what you want to do is you want to make sure that where it connects, so what this this part will connect to Sonic's body down here. So you want to make sure that this part is the same because they're all at different angles. You want to make sure that's in the same position as that or around it. It doesn't have to be exact, but it has to be relatively close. Otherwise, it'll just look awkward. This is where the transformation points come in. So you want to make sure that these are where the limb would actually move. So for this one, the transformation point, the white dot, has to be pretty much where Sonic's shoulder would be because that's how it's going to move. And you want to make sure that everything is on its own separate layer, so we have the head on one, so we need to just do that quick. So we'll put the head on this one. The head always, okay, so the head's second to bottom. I mean, no, the head's always second to top. And then you have the closest arm at the top layer. The torso slash legs in the middle layers and the behind arm always has to be at the bottom layer so that then you know you can move this and nothing gets in front of it because if it was the other way around uh, and the head was in front you'd see the head overlaps and that doesn't make sense so you want to have that there and that's effectively how you set up a rig guys it's it's relatively simple it's just animating it's a pain and obviously like i said earlier i'm not going to be going over that because there's no you know, right way I can explain how to do you know, realistic arm movements, leg movements, whatever, because it takes forever. So yeah, you always want to make sure that all these um, all these symbols are on single frame, so that then you know it doesn't you know, loop through everything and it doesn't look awkward. But yeah, that's effectively it for this tutorial, guys. So I want to thank you all for watching. I'll be leaving a link to um, to this file that I've used here, as well with um, the the sprite sheet that I used as well. Not this one, this one. So I'll be leaving the link to both of these in the description so you can download the file, whatever, download the sprite sheet, give it a go yourself. So yeah, that's pretty much it guys. So thanks for watching. I'll see you all next time.